Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the Oasis Focus and Finance Show. I'm your host Shafiq Morton. As always, it's a great pleasure to be with you. The 18th of July is certainly a very big day. As we all know, it's called Mandela Day and Mandela Day was in fact called and approved of by the United Nations. All South Africans of different hues, colors and persuasions indulge in 67 minutes of serving their fellow men and their communities. The 67 minutes representing the 67 years that Madiba spent in service to the country. In today's show, we take a look at how Oasis has committed itself to the upliftment not only of the clients it services, but also to the communities in which it operates. We take a look at why and how Madiba's message resonates so closely to all of us. And at Oasis, we'll take you on a journey of our commitment to this very message. On Nelson Mandela Day, thousands around the world participate in events, programs and activities to assist those around them. For many, the day has been synonymous with contributing 67 minutes of reaching out to those in need. These 67 minutes, of course, symbolize the 67 years that Nelson Mandela dedicated in service of humanity and from whom we draw our inspiration to becoming selfless and fulfilling our role towards creating change. While Nelson Mandela Day is spent lending a hand, it is important to remember that the day itself is symbolic and meant to renew our commitment to contributing meaningfully to the people of our country. Every day can, in fact, be a Mandela Day, and we have the privilege to continue in Madiba's footsteps, following the baton of leadership handed to us, and to really make a difference. Looking through the iron bars in this prison, the space where Mandela himself spent countless days and hours, one can only imagine the difficulty he and many others like him experienced in trying to maintain a steady resolve in his fight to live in a free, fair and equal society. As we walk through these spaces and trace some of the footsteps Madiba would have taken, we know now that what they stood here and realized, the truth is that we are not yet free. We have merely achieved the freedom to be free, the right not to be oppressed. We have not taken the final step of our journey, but the first step on a longer and even more difficult road. For to be free is not merely to cast off one's chains, but to live in a way that respects and enhances the freedom of others. The true test of our devotion to freedom is just beginning. What we as South Africans came to terms with since 1994 was that depth and the expanse of our country's social and economic challenges were far greater than imagined. South Africa has a number of social challenges that are no less than those facing many countries around the world. The difference lies mostly with South Africa's historical legacy, which has not only shaped the severity of some of the challenges, but also the frameworks and response mechanisms surrounding these challenges. If South Africa is to really overcome the impacts of its history and the challenges that impact its emergence as a strong and viable country, it is going to require more discipline in its developmental approaches. The state can never tackle these challenges alone and the country's unique past has provided a Herculean task that will require the commitment and the focus of all stakeholders, businesses especially are significant to this process and necessary because of their ability to advance social, economic and environmental well-being. In fact, there are very few social programs that can rival the business sector when it comes to creating the jobs, the wealth and the innovation that improves the standard of living and quality of life over time. Since opening its doors in 1997, Oasis's principles and operating practices were founded on the belief that an investment company could deliver continual excellence to protect and grow the wealth of investors 
in an ethical manner while making a significant contribution towards socially responsible initiatives. It's a belief that led Oasis, under the watchful eyes of its CEO, Adam Ibrahim, towards an unwavering commitment to a low volatility investment philosophy that has allowed Oasis to increase the wealth of its clients, their families, and society at large. The decisions made at a strategic level address social challenges as part of a sustainable outcome for the organization and the communities it operates in. To ensure the strengthening of our society and to contribute meaningfully to the growth and development of our communities, OASIS has focused its energy and its resources in key areas. These areas, identified as significant challenges to South Africa, are in the areas of education, healthcare and social development. We look at some of these projects and how OASIS has become involved. June is a month in which we as South Africans acknowledge the children and youth of our country, renew our pledge to protect them and their rights, and celebrate their vibrant energy, innocent creativity, and inquiring minds. It is therefore fitting that over the month of June, the Oasis Group handed a 4.7 million check to the Center for Early Childhood Development towards the advancement of teacher and caregiver skills as well as the upgrade and development of early childhood development facilities. It is my absolute pleasure and delight to welcome each and every one of you to this celebration of Children's Day today, which was started in 1925. At the same time, this is the month in which the 1st of June, 19 years ago, Oasis Asset Management opened its doors. Teachers, children, isn't this South Africa in front of us? This is South Africa. Today we celebrate International Children's Day when the world focuses on young children. But it's also Social Protection Week when we focus on protecting children. It's also the 19th birthday of the Oasis Group. And I want to tell you something which I really want you to listen to. Around the world there are thousands of asset management companies thousands. Only one in the world is celebrating International Children's Day today and that's Oasis Asset Management and you need to give them a round of applause for that. It is a great pleasure to be here today to celebrate the International Children's Day uh, with the Oasis group. So I think it's a wise investment, the most powerful investment that we can do in any endeavor that we're involved in, in investing in early childhood development. And thank you very much for choosing early childhood development as an area of investment, because indeed it's the best, I think maybe because our investment company, you understand strategically where to invest, and this is the most strategic area to invest in any development of our children. So to the youth here today, you have come into a free South Africa, a South Africa with freedom of education and freedom to choose what you'd like to do. Professor Atmore will receive 4.7 million rand from the Oasis Group. This will affect approximately 1,500 children and some of them are here. I wish all of them could have been here today. The level of investment into early childhood development is also matched by Oasis's focus on secondary and tertiary education. The Oasis Bursary Program is in its third year and has expanded to accommodate 39 tertiary level students and 10 scholars from all over South Africa. Oasis are socially responsible initiatives which includes our bursary scheme is part of our effort to improve the quality of life for all and leave nobody behind. The Oasis Bursary Program has been put in place to ensure that hard-working achievers are given the opportunity to further their education. For some, admission to the 2016 program will be a continuation of the existing relationship. And for others, it is a beginning and one that will see you become part of the Oasis family. 
Many of you that received bursaries last year on the program spent some of your holiday with the ACES team. We trust that your time here provided you with insight and gave you a perspective on the commitment required within the OASIS working environment. OASIS is dedicated to providing real value to its clients, stakeholders and the community and relies on all its team members to achieve this. One day, some of you will join this team and take your place in this growing and dynamic organisation. It's, it's amazing because now um, I get to be recognised. My, my efforts and my ability to you know, apply myself in the academic field has been recognised and I'm able to study further and um, without having to worry about finance, which is a huge load off my shoulders. It, it's a great opportunity. I, I look at it as a real opportunity. I mean, we see how students have to literally drop out of university because they're unable to afford the fees and I don't think anyone should have to go through that inability to, for, to, to go to fulfill their, their education. Well, I'm studying accounting sciences and the main reason is because I feel it's a very holistic degree. I think specifically in the commerce field, it doesn't just focus on accounting as the typical generalization is, it really equips you for running a business. I will say the, the overall Oasis corporate culture. I think it's, a, it's very accommodative, it is employee friendly. Obviously, I, I like wasn't like expecting any like when I came, I wasn't really expecting it to be that great. So I think that's that was quite an eye opener for me, and that's something that I enjoyed. Any student that should be one of the first things on the agenda applying for a bursary because it's an opportunity that they really can't miss out on. I mean, other bursaries, I doubt they give the same opportunities that the Aces are giving us that are on the bursary at the moment. Within the next two years, a number of these students will graduate and those focused on programs and commerce will be afforded opportunities at OASIS to develop and expand their careers in the fields of finance, accounting, economics, investments, technology, financial advisory services, marketing and human resources. Returning students were particularly enthusiastic. Many recounted their experience of working at OASIS over their holidays, providing insight on their academic schedules, their career paths, and of course, the bursary program itself. I was here last year, June. That was actually the first time I had a bursary though. And when I got here, it's a whole new environment. Firstly, it's a whole new place, far from home. And my favorite moment is for the mere fact that um, someone can give me something to do and I can actually do it. You know, it only it motivates me as well. It doesn't put me in a, on a spotlight, never mind on a spotlight, in a situation like, oh my word, no, I can't do this, or make me feel bad. For the mere fact that I can learn something, try and do it, and actually be able to do it at the end of the day. I enjoyed labor law mostly when I studied in litigation and stuff. But when I got here, they're dealing with commercial. So it was a whole new challenge for me. But the nice thing is it, I, I, it's strange, but I get excited by learning all these new things. It's a great opportunity because Oasis are not only pay your fees, you come actually to the workplace where you can observe, where you can work, where you can actually when you go back, you know, okay, I have to work on this, I have to work on this. And part of the advisory terms and condition is that you have to work for a company at the end of the day. So that is actually the beneficial. At least you know, sort of, okay, there's a possible, there's a possible job opportunity for me. So it actually forces you to just do good, do well, and just pull up your socks and then you can work. Included within the program are students who are currently reading for degrees in health science and engineering, which are equally important streams supported by the program as it seeks to deliver exceptionally skilled graduates in fields that contribute meaningfully to the country's development in the years ahead. Speaking to Adam Ibrahim on the expansion of the program, he said, it provided a magnificent opportunity for students to forge exceptional career paths. And given the current academic and economic landscape, students seek now more than ever firm leadership from their parents, their teachers, their professors, their community, and the business sector. Their confidence stems from knowing that their environment is secure and that they can fully explore the world they live in. Students today must be free to test their capabilities and to push their own boundaries so that they are able to graduate as well-adjusted and adequately skilled budding professionals who can contribute positively to their own lives 
and those that depend on them. On the healthcare front, Oasis's investment into the sector has been marked through contributions, upgrades and support, which has been realized at clinics, community centers and state-owned hospitals. In 2003, for example, the Oasis Crescent Fund Trust brought relief to the inadequately resourced dermatology unit of the Red Cross Children's Hospital by equipping it and funding a full-time healthcare worker to operate the unit. The installation of a laser unit at Khudeskir Hospital marked the first publicly available laser machine in the country. This machine was brought in from the USA and an entire ward was refurbished to accommodate this unit and the needs of the patients. In 2002, the new wing of the Red Cross Hospital was opened and we arrived to work to find that we were put into a single room with a table in the middle, we all had to work around the table and the treatment centre for children with skin disease was the sluice room. I'm not lying, that is true. We had, despite this long service, been forgotten. Nobody had made facilities for us in the new hospital. Along came Oasis Press and Fund, and they provided us with the space to, uh, and they upgraded the space as we could treat children, not in a sluice room, but in facilities that had a nice shower and a bath. This unit removes skin disfiguring stains in both children and adults a free service that was otherwise unavailable to ordinary South Africans that could not afford private care. Finally, in sport, Oasis's partnership with the South African Kumura Shokokai team continues as we recognize what an important impact sport has in building the strength of our communities and creating and sustaining unity the world over. It's been an exciting journey, but what's exciting is to see the team this year. Mr. Ibrahim, to Oasis, we want to say thank you. I think that what we're striving for every day in our training, this company and this family and the whole group of people that they have with them on their journey, they're striving for the same thing. It's small incremental improvements. It's little nuances of understanding, little depths of, of better foresight, uh, better planning, and that's how they've achieved what they've achieved. And I'd like to say, first of all, before we start, this is our sponsors giving us this day, giving us this handover, and we can't thank you enough. We are eternally grateful. We live in interesting and challenging times, and now, more than ever, creating and sustaining relationships built on respect, trust, and tolerance is most needed. And sport plays an immense role in achieving these values. Oasis's commitment to develop young athletes is done so in the hope that they can build a legacy and become role models for the next generation and for those to come. At Oasis, every day we work to make a difference to the quality of life for those that invest with us and for those who we have committed to lend a helping hand. Our work is ongoing and continuous. And as Madiba so rightly said, the time is always right to do right. And that concludes today's edition of Focus on Finance. We hope that you enjoyed our journey through Mandela Day. Should you wish to watch this or any of our other shows, you can log into the Oasis Crescent YouTube channel. Should you wish to contact Oasis, you can call 0860 100 786 or info at oasiscrescent.com. Until next time, I'm Shafiq Morton. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.